The Bakersfield College Academy sets the foundation for that recruit's career. So they're gonna be learning all of the basic skills, whether it's hose handling techniques, vertical ventilation, vehicle rescue, auto extrication, um, medical aid response, also wildland responses as well. And just give the recruit a full-time experience. After this, hopefully they'll get hired, they'll go to a professional fire department, and they have to do a whole other fire academy all over again. But at least with these skills, they're gonna be a step ahead of anybody else out there that doesn't have this course. Um, if you go through this academy, which is the college course, you get a Firefighter 1 certificate, and then that makes them eligible to take fire tests all up and down the state of California, and even if they wanna go out of state. They'll have the basic skills coming out of this academy for that recruit academy when they get paid to go through a, a full-time professional fire academy. This is about a five month course. It's not like any other class that you take at a college course. Um, we do have some classroom work to do, but most of the stuff that we're doing is manipulative. We're out here on the drill grounds and it's very arduous work. And that's one thing that we try to convey to the recruits or the students. This is a tough job. This is, uh, it's kind of down and dirty and the public that pays our wages, they expect us to be the best that we can be. So that's uh, studying hard whether we're doing training in the books, uh, we're outside, we're keeping physically fit, and we're using all of the equipment on our engines and our trucks because the goal of it is life safety for our community. And that's another thing that we try to convey to, to our students is that the public depends on us. When they call us on their worst day, we have to show up and whatever it is, we have to help them out and make that day better. Whether it's it's a, a fire, a vehicle accident, a medical emergency, we have to be on our A game at all times. And we try to get them into the mindset of living that way. We give them all kinds of physical drills, pulling the hose, throwing the ladders, throwing their SCBAs, just feeling the weight of the gear on them and performing all of these tasks is, is really arduous. We put them to the test and I think they have exceeded our expectations. And I think that by the end of this academy, they'll be ready to go out in the world and take some fire tests and, and hopefully they'll have a great career in the fire service. Today, the Firefighter One uh, Academy students are learning basic vehicle extrication and rescue. They are utilizing different types of hand tools as well as uh, hydraulic rescue tools to cut and spread and open up vehicles to access patients that are trapped and injured. Uh, this is extremely important, especially here in Bakersfield because we have major highways coming through and people are always crashing. So uh, there's always a need for vehicle electrification and rescue in the fire service. We try to make it as, as real as we can. One of the things that, uh, that's great about the Bakersfield College Academy is we have subject matter experts from both departments, Bakersfield uh, City and Kern County. And they're subject matter experts that are very passionate in the things that they teach. So they try to make this as realistic as possible. Really putting them to the test and getting them in that mindset that they could be doing this for real out in the world someday and trying to uh, perform a rescue or pulling a hose jump line to an actual fire and masking up. We try to give them those real time scenarios. I like to put them in the mindset that to be the firefighter that they would want responding to their family. I try to make that as personal as it can because the public does pay our salary and we do everything for the public, but just to make it a little bit more personal is would I want to be the one rescuing my family? It makes it a little bit more personal and then they can get in that mindset that I'm gonna pull this jump line the best of my ability. I'm gonna throw this ladder to the building to the best of my ability. I'm gonna put my SBA on the fastest that I can because that person that might be inside or might be in the car that's just crashed could be my family member and I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability. That is one thing that I know that everybody here, all the instructors here at uh, Bakersfield College try to put these recruits in that mindset because it does matter. What are the numbers in there? 
Ooh. What was that? What was that? Flash over, right? Almost 800. 800, right? I've seen them on the first day, and then I've, I've seen them out now. I feel like they've taken the challenge and they've risen to the occasion. This is a, uh, a baseline academy. We're giving them the basic skills, and I think that they've done a great job learning those basic skills and applying them into the drill grounds. Their attitudes are great. They're hungry. They want to learn, and they want to do a great job. And that is something that we can't teach a person to have. So it's good to have 30 men and women that, that are having great attitudes and all we need to do when we get them in a, in a real academy, a recruit academy, is teach them our way of, of doing things. I feel like they're gonna have good careers if they continue on this path.